Hello, I would like to introduce the phone to HD TV adapter cable. You can use this cable with iPhone or Android phone. As you can see, it comes in three different colors, gray and black, black and red, light gray and white. We are going to try connecting an iPhone first and see how it shows up the screen mirroring. Then we're going to try an Android phone, in this case, Galaxy S8. So let's go ahead and try it. We need a phone to HDTV adapter, an iPhone, and a lightning cable. The box comes with HDTV cable under instruction sheet. You can see it comes with the instruction sheet and the phone to HDTV cable. That's it. The cable itself has a three connectors, one HDMI connector that you can connect to your HDTV, or you can connect that to a computer monitor that has a HDMI port. That's what I'm doing for this demo here. Um, you can also connect to your media center if you have one. Um, then there is a two other port, one USB male port and one USB female port. You will connect the USB ma male port to a USB power supply and the USB female port where you will connect your phone through the phone cable. Let's connect the HDMI port to the monitor. Yeah, we've done that here. Next thing, we had to connect the USB mail port to the power supply. You just connect to the USB power supply. As soon as you connect it, your screen should pop up as shown here. You should get the get the barcode and the model number. That shows you that you know your HDMI port is connected and uh, the adapter is working. Next thing, we have to connect the lightning cable to the phone. The USB port goes to the female port of the phone to HDTV adapter and the lightning port goes to the phone. There you go, we just connected it. Wait for it and you will get a pop-up screen like this. Say trust this computer. What does it mean? It's essentially it's asking you to trust the HDTV adapter because your phone want to make sure that you are connecting to a device that you know about. So once you click trust, then it starts mirroring the screen to your HDTV. As you can see, it starts mirroring uh, your phone to the, the screen. Pretty much everything you see on your screen, um, you will see on the HDTV as well. So you just you know move front and back and you can see that's flawlessly is moving front and back. So just going to show you a simple example how you can watch, for example, a YouTube video. This is a sample video. So just want to show you how you can, you know, watch in the big screen. You can browse through it. You know, you can type whatever you want. So this is just a Google um, intro video. So there you go. That's all it is. Just be aware. There's no, there's a ton of application that works with it, and also some of the app don't work with it. For example, Netflix. Um, the Netflix app do not allow screen mirroring. So when you run the Netflix app on the iPhone, you will see a blank screen on the TV. So that is because of the application, not because of the cable. Next. Let's try uh, mirroring the yeah, Android phone. We're gonna try Galaxy S8. To mirror the Android phone, you have to enable uh, USB debugging. This option is uh, on the settings, but by default, you can't see it. If you even go and just take a look at it, you won't find this USB debugging options visible. So first, you gotta make it visible. It's a one-time thing. Uh, settings if you go all the way down 
you will see the about phone under that you know look for software information right there software information select that after that you have to look for the built number as you can see I'm just keep clicking on it just keep clicking keep clicking and this will pop up your and uh, ask for your pin number so we enter the pin number once you enter the pin number you enable the developer option the developer option is outside So let's go and look at the developer option. Click the developer option. Right there, you can see USB debugging. Can you see it? Yeah, that's the one right there. So click OK. Then now you enable the debug USB debugging. Now we are ready to connect the cable and check the screen mirroring. Connect the USB end to the USB female port on the phone to HDMI adapter and the Type-C end to the phone. Phone popped up the screen telling us it is slowly charging the phone enter the pin number to unlock the phone and it's still not mirroring that is because we are to make one final adjustment under the USB configuration, we have to select transfer images. So once you do that, then as soon as you say, okay, and um, It start mirroring immediately there you go We are showing you some YouTube. You can see it, it is getting mirrored between your phone to your HDTV. There is a difference between the iPhone mirroring and the Android phone mirroring. For the iPhone, it mirrors the screen as well as transfer the audio through the HDMI port to the HDTV. For the Android phone, only the video will go through the HDMI port still the audio will play on the phone so be aware of that if you plan to buy it you will see that difference on this particular adapter so be aware of this difference as well as um, if you really need to send the audio also to the TV you may need a axillary cable thanks for watching